Well, guys, today's the day. Today's the day where we talk about the fish tank. This is probably one of the most sought after requested things I've ever had on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And it is all questions about this tank right here. So today's video is gonna be quick and simple. I'm just gonna go over the basics of this tank, the basic concept that I have in the tank, the fish I have in the tank, and the feeding methods that I go through to keep this guy happy and healthy and sustained. So without further ado, let's jump on into this thing. Dirty, bro. You gotta clean the tank up. Well guys, as you can see here in front of me, we have my fish tank with our buddy Fish Sticks, the hybrid bluegill in there. Now, we'll talk real quick about this sunfish. If you guys are not familiar with this sunfish, I have a whole video going over how I got him, where I got him, and when I got him. I'll go ahead and link it below right here. But this is a hybrid sunfish. I say it's a hybrid because the types of fish that are in the creek are very, very vast. There's so many different types of fish and different types of sunfish in general that there's no way to actually pinpoint what type of fish this is. He looks to be a pumpkin seed, he looks to be a long ear, he looks to be like a bluegill, and he also looks to have some sort of green sunfish vibes as well. So with that being said, I am just going to continue to call him a hybrid sunfish. If you guys have anything better to call him, let me know in the comments below. I'm just going to keep calling him fish sticks though, because he's my buddy. But we'll talk about the tank. So the tank here in front of me, I actually picked up at a local pet shop. I will say if you guys are interested in picking up tanks, Kind of look around sometimes they do like a dollar a gallon and you can get them really cheap this thing was only about i think 15 dollars because it's a 10 gallon tank after that we have our filtration device over here now this is for a 20 to 30 gallon tank so it helps keep the water really nice and clean but something that helps work in hand with the filter is going to be the aeration system those bubbles that are flowing in the back of this tank are moving around and keeping that water flowing in a nice cycle which is allowing that filter to pick up anything in the water and also just keeping it a nice and safe habitat for this guy right here. So the air pump and filtration system I got on Amazon I'll go ahead and leave links below for you guys so you can pick them up if you're interested as well. Now talking about the diet for this guy I specifically like to feed him worms. I prefer the live worms that I can store in my fridge because they last for a lot longer than anything else that I've tried crickets are annoying and they die real easy they also stink uh, night crawlers die pretty fast and pretty easy in the fridge as well the easiest thing that I found is gonna be these live worms on top of that you can go pick up some minnows or some live feeder fish at your local bait shop uh, or at your local little pet store now one last thing I'll talk about when it comes down to getting your tank set up is preparation. Make sure you have these things set and ready to store your fish in there ahead of time. I want to say at least 24 hours. I had mine stored almost two weeks. It allows any sort of um, buildup of toxins or any sort of stuff that should not be in the water to slowly evaporate and uh, break down in the water once you add those additives which helps bring the pH level and all that stuff up to set. Now if you want to keep it pretty simple and pretty easy you can use this water care kit which I actually use. It's just a few pills they just disintegrate when you pop them in the water. It keeps it nice and simple and uh, pretty clean. One last thing I guess I'll talk about is just the structure in here. Everything I like to do is natural. We have natural rocks from the actual lake. We have natural plants from my girlfriend that I stole and then we have just some nice pebble that helps filtrate everything. Um, it helps keep the environment natural and kind of homey for him, but at the same time it helps me sustain a healthier environment for them because when you have plants, uh, it helps kind of eat at the bacteria and feed off of any sort of cells that are in the water as well. So hopefully you got a better understanding of this tank that I have here and what I have to do to keep this thing running. Uh, it's a 10 gallon tank. It is a 20 to 30 gallon filtration system with a 20 to 30 gallon pump. I will leave everything that I actually have and showed you guys today below in the description. All you got to do is click those links and it'll take you directly to the products that I've showed you here today. And on top of that, it kind of helps me out as well. But that is me for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you had fun watching and uh, learned a little bit more about fish sticks and we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks again.